So, no, thank you for uh, the interaction. My name is Elena Maximova. I come from Gotha Village University. Today, my topic will be, will be about uh, human trafficking, but um, in the focus of the uh, migrants crisis and the possibility of online recruitment. So, what is the main point of my presentation that I will try to um, reach it in these uh, 10 to 15 uh, minutes? Uh, the, the main point is to answer the question, is Republic of North Macedonia seen as a transit country in these uh, migration uh, events and in all migration crises? Uh, is risky for online recruitment of the victims among migrants um, uh, and their victimization in the human trafficking chain? And if it is, uh, how much? So this is my main point that I will try to answer in these few minutes. Uh, first of all, I will try to uh, in, uh, introduce you in this uh, team or uh, in this cyber crime in the uh, into the field of a human trafficking uh, chain and human trafficking cases. First of all, uh, cyber crime is something that can be seen as a duel. Uh, that is a crime that is committed into the internet environment and can only be happening into the internet environment. But there is also some other types of crimes that can be. Uh, also committed uh, in a conditional way outside of the internet environment and that is uh, where the human trafficking is uh, nowadays. So uh, this is a, a, a traditional crime that is uh, uh, as, old as, uh, as old as time, as old as humanity, but also can use some internet tools and can use also some internet online interaction in order to recruit migrants, to detect migrants and to set the bait because it's much uh, easier through internet. It uh, leaves only dig digital trace, it's uh, mostly anonymous, uh, it's hard to locate it and it's also cheaper. So uh, nowadays there are a lot of uh, internet application uh, that we are using on our smartphones, on our computers and that are mostly used whenever there is a uh, disaster or some catastrophical uh, events that are happening and that are uh, entangled for uh, with a lot of uh, people in it. So migration crisis, for example, in 2015 are uh, in our country, there was uh, about one million refugees that were transiting. Now there's the pandemic, etc, etc. It's uh, uh, situations where a lot of uh, people are using these applications and through this application they can easily be victimized. When it comes to the migration crisis, we need to set it um, and to look it through the smuggling migrants perspective. Why? Because a lot of the migrants were already eager to leave their country and um, they are willingly entering into this smuggling migrant chain. They can uh, some in the in the in the meanwhile um, you know, loss. Uh, they can lose their will, and uh, this smuggling migrant case can easily turn up and to be a human trafficking case. And that was a pretty much case when it comes to the Republic of Macedonia. Um, uh, but we must say that this is some uh, some crime that mostly figures into this dark figure uh, or dark areas because it's very hard to be detected. So as I said, these internet applications are mostly used by the perpetrators because they are always step ahead of um, the of the uh, international organizations that are detecting or combating uh, combating them uh, and the migrants are some uh, are a group of people where the bite is already set. Why the bite is already set? Because uh, when it comes to the traditional human trafficking chain, they are firstly arranging some uh, um, some promises for a better life, better future, uh, better uh, living conditions, etc. But here migrants already want to leave their country or, or, or already want to get to the destination country where they can have a better life and better job. So it is uh, very convenient for, for the perpetrators to reach to this, uh, to this group of, uh, of, of, of migrants. So um, internationally, there is International Organi Organization of Migration, United Nations uh, Office of Drug and Crime, Europol with European Migrant Smuggling Center, they all alarmed about the uh, danger that internet has brought not only in the uh, uh, economic area and social area, but also in the area of uh, recruitment of uh, human trafficking cases and also when it comes to the pandemia of COVID-19 uh, that there, this possibility and this danger went sky high. 
uh, victimization that is happening in North Macedonia is something um, that is a topic of this uh, of today's lecture. But in order to uh, reach to the possible victims, I might only uh, say that uh, internet users that are connected in this trafficking case can be uh, divided in three categories. There are traffickers, clients on the other uh, uh, case that uh, must be distinguished with traffickers because because there's a group of people that. Uh, get the good deals fr uh, from this human trafficking case and most uh, and in most cases traffickers are setting the bait not only for the potential victims but for their clients too. And when it comes to the potential uh, victims there are two main groups, two main types. Firstly there are totally innocent victims, mostly that uh, refers to the children that are using internet space and get into the chat groups and chat rooms etc. And there are victims that are aware of the risk that these dark sites are uh, providing and the dangers of uh, these dark sites but they uh, continue to use it most because they have no other option on, or they believe that nothing um, bad will happen to them. And that is a group of the migrants that can possibly be victimized in the human trafficking chain. The chain and that uh, in 2016, the United Nations Office of Drug and Crime uh, uh, alarmed about that this possibility to be victimized. Uh, in the Republic of North Macedonia, uh, as I said, migrants are mostly transiting, but uh, although they are uh, in the risk area, even when they get out of their homes and uh, start their journey, in the Republic of North Macedonia, there are a few periods that we might uh, see as alar alarming and uh, very much risky when it comes to the possibility of a victimization. First of all, in 2015, our country, uh, along with some other countries, uh, brought this selective policy of uh, uh, of which uh, group of migrants might pass through our country, uh, from the, according to the country of origin. So, uh, in 2015, a lot of migrants were stuck in front of the, our borders. This selective policy was uh, somehow. Uh, further uh, uh, reduced in 2016 and that is the second wave where migrants were uh, very vulnerable and that is also the closure of the Balkan route in 2016 when uh, 1,200 migrants were stuck in our country and a lot of them were stuck in front of our country and uh, had no other options for transiting but to uh, uh, but to seek for the smugglers and Ill illegal transiting. And also the closure of the border for the pandemic in 2020, where uh, as a measure for a lot of countries was the closure of the border, but in this period for 20,000 persons were prevented for entering in Macedonia from the beginning of this measure. So most of them were searching for the um, uh, offers that smugglers were giving and uh, were paying from 600 to 1,000 euros, but somehow this smuggling uh, process might ent uh, enter and we into this human trafficking case. Um, migrants are using their smartphones even when they're uh, uh, getting out of their country. They buy new uh, smartphone before the journey, they create a Facebook account and that is something that uh, we can witness easily through these researches that were done from the migrant perspective and that are uh, available online. But also um, uh, UNHCR was making a research about uh, these uh, items that migrants were carrying with them and almost uh, in any bag that was regularly inspected uh, was found a smartphone. So uh, it is believed that these smartphones are crucial for the migrants uh, to uh, continue or to start their journey and to get to this final destination. So in what point uh, this recruitment might happen? When it comes to this cyberspace and how it's used, we must uh, say that the mostly offers that are given are given uh, into this uh, country of origins so on the uh, native language of the uh, of the migrants and uh, mostly the bait is set here in their countries of origin. Smugglers are using the uh, data that they are, are, are available on the internet uh, about this uh, target group that they want to reach. So they are tailoring their uh, profiles in order to be more uh, tempting for the migrants. There are a lot of 
national agents, uh, SARAFs, as they are called. There are a lot of asylum and immigration consultants, etc., that are creating Facebook pages, uh, Instagram pages, etc., where they are placing their offers about a better job or better future in Europe, and they are mostly selling the European dream. So they are mostly putting a pictures of some destination, but in uh, general, they might only refer to the European Union. There are also some other clients that are posting their experiences and how they are satisfying, and this is very tempting for the migrant who want to migrate. And uh, although the migrant might be aware that there, are, there is a risk, they are searching for the uh, minor evil in this case. So when the bite is set, the customers are mostly searching for all-inclusive trip. That is a trip that goes from the country of origin to the country of destination. But however, these in all-inclusive trips might be very expensive for the migrants. So there are uh, also some alternatives that are uh, for, uh, offered for the, for the migrants and for uh, their safety. Also, some uh, uh, smugglers are using with lies. For example, when it comes to the closure of the border of, uh, of the Balkan route, the smugglers were offering on their Facebook pages uh, some movement into the list of, uh, uh, of asylums or uh, they were promising that the border will be reopened soon. Uh, as I uh, might point out, this is not something that is happening only online. The trust is very crucial in here. Migrants with their uh, uh, customers at this point might also meet in vivo, but the initial uh, danger is set, uh, is set online. There are three main categories of uh, traffickers in this area. Solo enter, uh, entrepreneurs, they are uh, mostly happening in our country, in country of Republic of Macedonia. And those are solo players that are smuggling migrants from one point of one border to the other, only into this uh, country. There are small, medium that include two or three countries and mostly family based and large organizations that are uh, uh, more, uh, that are very easily turned into human trafficking, uh, human trafficking case. Uh, when it comes to the journey, that is the second part uh, after the recruitment, the most of the journeys are uh, are using this um, route through Macedonia or through Bulgaria because it is the cheapest for the migrants. For example, this route will cost for 1,000 uh, euros and if it is used, uh, uh, car it will be a little more expensive. This is with the truck, but if they are using planes, they can be up to 7,000 euros, which is a price that migrants cannot afford. But when it comes to the trip, they uh, in uh, Balkans, in the country of Balkans and mostly in the Republic of Ma uh, Macedonia, migrants are uh, going solo. The, the smugglers are maybe not needed or they are involving some local smugglers. So they continue their uh, uh, communications through uh, Facebook, uh, through Instagram, uh, and about this uh, communication, they are using mostly internet cafes, so they uh, won't be located through GPS. And that is something that is uh, mm, uh, like a hard uh, occurrence when it comes to this uh, combating with this uh, with this uh, crime. Uh, so uh, there are a lot of indicators that uh, can uh, go uh, and can indicate that there is a case of a, a potential human trafficking, but we must say that uh, most of them are tempting with the promises of a, uh, of a future job and the future accommodation. So uh, we are going to talk mostly about this labor exploitation that is happening in general, but also in uh, these human trafficking cases, because there are a lot of uh, indicators that are pointing out to, uh, to this, uh, to this uh, potential group of, of victims. Why are uh, human trafficking mostly baiting with these uh, uh, labor offers? Because uh, labor offers is something that is searched and mostly because these migrant groups, although they are heterogenic, they are involving males uh, in it and they are... And in a five minutes. Okay, I will, I will seize it up. Uh, and uh, they are very, uh, pretty much resilient to, to every uh, to pain and to, uh, and, uh, in, uh, to every other exploitation. So these indicators is something that our NGO La Strada also uh, shows up about these 
possibilities of uh, uh, labor exploitation and uh, uh, fake job offers that might lead to the human trafficking case. I will not go any deeper in it. Uh, if there is a question, I will answer it also. But uh, we believe that these uh, indicators that our NGO is offering are very much important because in, uh, they are cooperating with European Union and also with the uh, Council of Europe in the program of horizontal facilities for the Western Bar Balkan and Turkey. And they are starting the campaign in our country about opportunity or exploitation that uh, all says a lot about these fake offers and what our uh, people might uh, uh, might get into, but also the migrants who are stuck in our country and are using this possible website. So having in mind all these indicators, I searched into our web uh, portals and some offers that uh, we have presented recently from 2021 who are very suspicious because they don't uh, give some uh, they all always offer accommodation that is included, help for the migrants, uh, to, uh, for the people to get uh, documentation, uh, knowledge is not required, previous knowledge, knowledge of the language of the destination country is not required, some other skills are not required, transportation is always included from one point to the other, but also from the accommodation place to the job and they are uh, always uh, said not they do not have their own domains, but they are using some other advertising uh, sites where they only refer to the food further uh, further uh, communication through Viber, uh, Messenger, or through phone. They do not have any other specific. So instead of the inclusion, uh, here I put out some of the relevant internet uh, international. Uh, acts and also European Migrant Smuggling Center and the Internet Referral Unit of Europol that are, are helping into these uh, investigations and also into monitoring uh, the online content and uh, pages that are linked to the Migrant Smuggling Criminal Network. I will only say that our country in 2016 developed some specific indicators for preliminary uh, identification of presumed or potential victims of human trafficking in the context of migration flows. However, and with this I will conclude, the COVID-19 pandemic is something that uh, will only uh, make it uh, this danger uh, go high because migrants from the one hand are using this uh, applications in order to find out about these measures of the borders, about these uh, documentations or at, some other further information and they are mostly vulnerable not right now because they are uh, uh, they have they're stuck in the country with no money and or in and in order to get money to pay to the smugglers they need to uh, work for their smugglers or for their traffickers traffickers however have a lot of opportunities they can not only sell the european dreams but also documentations for the covid face uh, false covid vaccines or some other drugs and that is something that our country, for example, cannot deal with. So in order to answer my previous question, Republic of Macedonia is not the most common country for the in initial online recruitment. However, all these events that are happening are uh, making uh, the dangerous go mostly high and it is something that we need to put a higher accent into this future because especially because of the COVID-19 pandemic. Thank you very much for your attention and I will be on your disposal if you have any further questions.